Next company um, will be uh, LoopDX uh, and Enrique Jimenez, the mm -hmm. co-founder of LoopDX, will be joining us as a company that um, works on biomarkers to identify bloodstream infections, which is a which is an area that has also an unmet need um, gap. So, Enrique, uh, stage is yours uh, for the yeah. presentation, and everyone, please drop your questions and comments on the chat as we go. Thanks, Enrique. Thank you. So, I would like to thanks for inviting me, and yeah, I'm Enrique, CEO of Blue Diagnostic. And I will start the story of uh, the entrepreneur by personal story. In my case, uh, I, um, uh, I have I did a PhD in immunology infection disease in La Paz Hospital in, in Madrid in Spain. And during these uh, during these years, we are like uh, identifying like a lot of biomarkers related with expression in in, in infection disease. In different uh, in the in, in sepsis and in other disease, and by them we I suffer like a, a shocking event uh, like uh, internally that to understand why I keep uh, publishing paper no so uh, I internally understand that the things that we are doing in the laboratory usually don't have any any uh, any correlation with the, the real pain with the society. No, so with this was one of my questions, what problem I'm solving. And yeah, after that, we uh, we joined to the similar program that Marcus, but uh, three years later, and also the similar program I, we met Maria is in the in the is in the picture. And in, during this program is called the Hell of Barcelona, of the IT Hell program also. Uh, we uh, joined with people with multidisciplinary backgrounds. And we are mainly focused in identifying different clinical needs. And right now is where uh, all my dabs have sense, no? If we have to start to identify this need, no? Anyway, this was my team, Nico and Sara. Uh, we did the clinical immersion in an uh, Institute Goodman in all the areas that they have these neuro rehabilitation clinics. By then, the in the company is called Neuros. I think it's important to keep the logos because it's keep the tracking of the progress of the company and the project. And uh, after that, we decide to 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 see. So during this process, we identify a very important and met need. Now with the COVID, I think this need is more relevant. Even that this is the, a, a fast track to a, a fast way to do microbiology analysis in patient to provide correct treatment however this need is a huge need because you can enter in any 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 process any any disease etc no so by by then we decide to focus in a bacterial pharyngitis because uh, we identify that usually when you have pain in your throat uh, usually it's because by a viral infection and uh, the, when you go to the physician usually they provide antibiotics no? so uh, and the statistics say that just 20 percent of this uh, by pharyngitis is caused by bacteria no? so we decide to solve this problem in for the primary care and we focus we will focus in technology to solve we did initially some drafts about the project by now the company changed the logo that now is neo because it's more related you know with the uh, neuro disease it's more related with infections and here you can see all the process that we did to uh, create like a product like uh, in order to to, to to show to physician and to share no? so after this we decided so one of the process was ask us ask to the different uh, healthcare professional uh, to share our idea, our need, etc. And one of the last uh, feedback that we obtain is that uh, there are one solution already in the market, <laughs> and uh, we didn't find it because uh, not all primary care centers have the budget to buy this test, even if it's a very very cheap test. We are talking about one or two euros per test. However, the budget of primary care center are so limited 
So by then we finished uh, pitching the, in the master and after that uh, the problem was the team. No? Uh, during that, uh, the team uh, decided to, to uh, skip the project and, uh, for different reasons. For example, Sara, we decided to not be an entrepreneur. Uh, when, uh, Nico and me, we, we decided to rethink new ideas. And after this rethinking, Nico had different expectations about the time to market of the project and other personal issues. So I was, uh, and also Nico decided to leave the project. So this uh, after this uh, year of master, um, all the learning during this process need time to be incorporated, and uh, the project is the pivot to to in the similar need, but to another uh, another disease. This pivot was focused instead to pharyngitis, instead uh, focused to sepsis, to blood testing infection. Why? Because in this case, the clinical need is. Uh, is still a net need and is because the mother became the early diagnosed this disease. Other things that happen is that uh, we uh, uh, use the know-how of the team to innovate the solution, not just uh, copy or see other technologies, so incorporate new know-how of the team in the solution and incorporate new people during the process, new people for the company and new people to advise the company uh, and not only people also join to other companies or institutions uh, for example different clinical uh, hospital uh, different uh, companies to do the production and the design of the product and uh, use the network uh, one of the important network that we use is the AT Health network um, so by then we still ask us at pitching and sharing the project. So right now you can see how is our current device. So we this product is in a uh, industrial phase device. Uh, is the current device that we have in the company. This device is a blood based in vitro diagnostic test that is able to identify blood testing infection before progressing to sepsis. We have the patent already applying. We are in PCT status for the method and the biomarker. And this device is containing two parts. In the bottom part is a tube with a reactive to do the immune stimulation that you have to mix with the blood of the patient. And after two hours of incubation, you have to press just to press down to the lateral flow strip, the upper mechanism, and you put in contact the, the, the lateral flow with the, with the sample. And in, in, uh, in, in the control line, like a pregnancy test, you can see positive or negative for uh, blood testing infection. Uh, also, uh, we are so clear now where is the competitor in the market and where technology are using and in which, uh, what phase of sepsis can detect in a late phase, another infection. And also we identify other, um, uh, com other competitors that are using similar technology that us but for other disease like quantiferon, and uh, we are the only one able to detect uh, early sepsis uh, with our technology. So this last slide is to summarize some of the process during time. So after finish the PhD, what happened? To enter in the Digital Barcelona to identify the needs. Then we create some MVPs. That this is for other disease, but in the end, these MVPs were adapted and the end is a pivot, a minimal pivot to adapt to our technology. Uh, then we participate in the Entrepreneur Bootcamp for ET Health that we validate the new need and start validating the new business model. By then, uh, more people enter in the company and after this validation, we receive several uh, local grants to do the, the, the R&D and validate the, the technology in the hospital. Also, we receive other grants like Cross for Health Grant, DigiCube, and Health Star. And thanks to this, we finish the MVP and, uh, the, the, and we enter in a regulatory phase with more people inside the company. So I think that's all. So thank you very much. And we are here to answer all the questions. 
Thank you, Enrique. Uh, very interesting uh, innovation and very, uh, very much unmet need as well uh, when we think of global sepsis situation. So uh, congratulations on uh, the success journey and also openness to share, you know, your struggles and uh, what it took actually to come to this stage. Uh, one question that came through is from uh, Daniel Pichler. Um, the question is, does it give you a clue which bacteria causes the sepsis? So right now we have our first version because we are still working in more R&D for the device, for the next version of the device. Right now we are uh, just telling is this bacterial or not, but we are working in the next version of the device that we uh, able to split sepsis from urinary tract and sepsis from pulmonary infection. So in the end, this uh, true origin of the sepsis uh, is mainly tell you that the bacteria is different from gram positive and negative. Great, thanks Enrique uh, for addressing that question. Um, if anyone else uh, additional questions, um, please drop it in the chat. And I prepared one question per, per, per company, so I'll also uh, shoot the one for you, Enrique. Um, I think this message was also given from all uh, the companies during this session, which was the importance of multidisciplinary um, engagement because the, the sector is also shifting in that direction. We need to be doing that very efficiently. And you m mentioned that um, you had to gather a multidisciplinary team. Um, could you give us some insights on, you know, how did you get the team to work in harmony uh, across different disciplines and what it took to uh, manage that? So thank you. Yeah, that's, it's true. Actually, when I, I, I did a PhD and the innovation is like do a PhD, but in different uh, in backgrounds, no, it's not just in science. So yeah, for, uh, the, one of the hard part of the startup is to to uh, involve people uh, to the project, not just advisor, no, really uh, into the project, no, and people from multidisciplinary team. For example, for us, it's more or less easy to to incorporate people from bioscience uh, backgrounds, so like uh, uh, biomedicine, uh, pharmacy, etc. But it's it's difficult for us to incorporate people from business side. So this is one of our uh, still challenge to incorporate these people inside uh, the company uh, with more uh, with more responsibility. No? Thanks, Enrique. That sounds uh, relatable, I'm sure, for a lot of organizations. Um, but you've definitely achieved a lot uh, in, in the period that you started. So congratulations once again. Um, I see that there's no further questions coming in. Um, so. Um, I would like to thank everyone uh, for joining this session and sharing your uh, entrepreneurial uh, hurdles and success stories. 